excitement, adventure. Boston Blackie. Enemy of those who make him an enemy. Friend of those who have no friends. Yes, sir. That's Boston Blackie, and he's quite a guy. For those of you who may just have tuned our way, that's Sid the Legal Eagle Capper in the light trunks. Maxie LaRoche in the dark. Neither boy's been down. This one's a corker. Action all the way. And that's the end of round five. Of course, this is unofficial, but I'd score a capper with a slight edge in that frame. We're looking at Sid Capper, the Legal Eagle. The man working on that cut over Sid's eye is Gabby Stantz, one of the most popular managers in the fight game. Gabby has brought his boy along very fast. Going into tonight's fight, Sid has won 18 straight and is definitely in contention for a shot at the champion. Capper's one of the most colorful youngsters in the ring today. He's a senior at the state law school, and after he hangs up his gloves, Legal Eagle Capper is going to practice law. There's anything left of him after he hangs up his gloves. Here we are going into round six. The boys are circling, looking for a chance to land that Sunday punch. They don't know when to quit, Jenny. He wouldn't be in there now if he did. What do you mean? Sid should never have gone into the ring. Not professionally. He gave the Army six years of his life. He, he could have made part of that up by at least getting his law degree under the GI Bill. Not Sid. He's got to do everything the hard way. They're really mixing it up in there now. This can be anybody's fight. He knows what he's doing, Jenny. That's just it, Mary. He doesn't. After every fight, I can see more of a change in him. Not just more scar tissue over his eyes. It goes deeper than that. He's getting more and more indifferent to his main chance. You mean law school? If he slips much more, he's going to be out altogether. Mary, I love this guy. I can't just sit by and watch him destroy himself. <laughs> That was a vicious right cross that winged the legal eagle. This could be the fight. I can't stand it. Every time I see him get knocked down, I... Harry, what am I gonna do? Easy, honey. There's a way that there must be. Maybe we can get Blackie to talk to Sid. Come on, Sid. Across that right. Come on. Come on, Sid. Jab, jab. Across your right. That's my pal. Come on, Sid. Jab, jab. That's right. Jab. Sloan, kid, I know you can take him. You didn't have any worries for a minute. Great boy you got there, Mike. Unless I miss my guess, the legal legal will be our next champion. You sure know how to pick him, boss. Good fight, Sid. Now make it snappy. I'll wait for you outside. Thanks, Blackie. I'll make it fast. <laughs> We're in, Mr. Bishop. One more setup, and he meets the big one. Shut up. Did you say something, Mr. Bishop? I said shut up. Ah! Hi, Mary. How'd they look in television? Fine. Ah! Hiya, Whitey. Hiya, Jenny. Sorry we're so late, but you know how it is. Everybody wants to get into the act with a winner. A winner? Did you win, Sid? Sure I won. Don't tell me you didn't watch the fight. I watched it until you got knocked down. Sid. Uh, you missed the best part. I took him to the next round. What's the matter, baby? You sorry I didn't lose? Well, are you? No, of course I wanted you to win, but... But what? What Jenny's trying to say, Sid, is she'd like this to be the last time you had to win. Oh, so that's it. She's been talking to you, too. What do you do with a girl like this? All I'm making is money. 
I told her a hundred times, when I graduate, I'll quit the ring. One more year, and I'll quit. One more year, then two more years, then ten more years. You're going to end up with a cauliflower brain. My girl, she really punches. But clean. I've been wondering about that, too, Sid. What do you want out of the ring? Championship? Is that bad? Champ hangs up gloves and hangs out shingles. I kind of like the sound of that, Blackie. It's okay if you mean it. But let's look at the other side of the coin. No jury's going to buy what you have to say just because you're an ex-champ. So? It's your life. I had to see you crowded. Or your luck. You might be better off listening to Jenny. Quit now while your thinking gear and profile's intact. Just like that. You think I can say sorry, fellas? No more fights. Can't you? No, Mary, it's not that easy. Why not? It's Gabby, my manager. A hard luck situation, and he, he's got me boxed in. Well, I, I think he's a great guy, but, but he's gotten himself hooked up with Andrew Bishop and... Bishop? The attorney? Say, that's right. I saw him in your corner after the fights. Why, he's a pillar of society. He's a rock. Talk to Gabby. Maybe I'll talk to him. Come on, Mary, I'll take you home. Blackie. Yeah? It won't do you any good. Bishop's a big man. So was Goliath. You really think Sid's in trouble? I think somebody could make trouble for him. You'd better be careful. You might wind up a punching bag. I promise you one thing. If I don't find out something in one year, I quit. In the meantime, I'm going to look up Andrew Bishop. Hey, what are you waiting for? And you can tell him I want him to pay up within 10 days. Right. Yo. Who? Boston Blackie. Send him in. <clears throat> well, Boston Blackie, what can I do for you? Well, this isn't a professional visit, Mr. Bishop. I'm here because of a friend of mine. Murder or misdemeanor? <laughs> Neither. I'm aware of your interest in sports, particularly fighters. Specifically, Sid Capper. What about Sid? Can he get out? I beg your pardon? I mean quit as of now. Stop fighting. He can be champion within a year. Why should he want to stop? His schooling's in jeopardy. <laughs> he has plenty of time for books later on. After last night, he's number one candidate for middleweight. <laughs> if he can get past Spoiler Garrett. You own Spoiler. That's common knowledge, isn't it? Guilty. Spoiler's supposed to be over the hill. but still tough enough for the new boys to go through to get a chance at the champ. That's what it says in the sports pages. But I don't think the sports pages say that you own a piece of Sid, and that you'll have an interest in both fighters. Really, Blackie, you know the rules. The commission frowns on that sort of thing. That's my point. I merely drew up the ownership papers. Perfectly legal. Oh, I don't doubt that, but who owns it? Papers are on file with the commission. You're at liberty to see them. Names don't mean a thing. Queen of England could put Canada in Phillips' name. Sid's owners have advanced money to further his career. Grooming a fighter is just as much a business as grooming a racehorse, you know. I see. And if Sid wants to get out, he has to pay up. How much? Sid knows the figure. However, his backers aren't pressing him. You can remain a friend to Sid by not disturbing him. As for his desire to become an attorney, I'll gladly help him at any time. I'm in Sid's corner. Yeah, and it's overcrowded. What about this blanky carrot? Forget him. We're covered. Hiya, boys. Hi, right, Blackie. I want to talk to you, Gabby. How much do you owe Bishop? You better keep moving, Sid. How much, Gabby? Over 5,000. What did you fill his gloves with? Gold? When did this start? Right after Sid took out the Baltimore kid 16 months ago. The kid was Bishop's boy, but Sid was too sweet for him. 
Well, Bishop contacted me and said he represented certain interests and they wanted to buy into Sid. I said no. Sid was doing okay. Bishop said he'd do better, that his boys were well connected. Well, anyway, he got over that if Sid didn't fight for him, Sid don't fight, period. You never told me, Gabby. I was scared. Well, I went along anyway. I wanted another chant before I went to my grave. I guess I let you down, kid. Okay, Pop, okay. If I had the dough, I'd pay up, no gut. Ginny doesn't understand. Sid, you came up awfully fast. How do you know some of the boys didn't die for you? Hey, now, wait a minute. Never mind the pride. How would you know? How about you, Gabby? You don't think any of them would talk, do you? We need affidavits to take to the commission, not suspicions. Bishop's smart enough to cover up. Then he'll have to be drawn out. With what, a magnet? Maybe I'll take a dive to get out from under. Bishop tells me you're going to fight Spoiler Garrett. Can you take him? The contender's confident. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe what? Well, maybe Bishop's putting too much property in one ring. Maybe. Just maybe. Thank you. Yeah? Are you Michael Temple? Could be. What's on your mind? Well, I'm a friend of Sid Caffers. I want to have a talk. Talk? Well, I want to know if you're the Michael Temple who holds his contract. No, 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 Sid Caffers. Don't know anything. But I just... Hello, Mr. Bishop. This is Mike. Blackie just left here. Okay. Good in your paper? Yeah, but good. How do you figure to take out Kappa, Spoiler? Well, I'm gonna work over to his left, get in close and rip his kisser to pieces. He's got too much style, a fancy damn college boy. Yeah. He's got a mean left. Yeah, but it keeps it too high. Circle him and one, two. Hiya, Maxie. What happened to you in the Kappa fight? Before the sixth round? After the sixth round. Don't remember a thing. Blackie, see you got here, what's on your mind? How do you like the Capper Garrett fight? 50-50. Uh, you gotta give the spoiler an edge, he's too ring-wise. Bishop owns him. <laughs> Is that news? But he also owns Sid Capper. What? Now, don't say a thing, keep it out of your column. I can't prove it, neither can Capper. If we figure Garrett to die. The mission would love to get the teeth into that. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Swell. I'll see you around. Hiya, Spoiler. You a reporter? Well, you could say I'm looking for a lead. I'll flatten him in eight. Might be the other way around. Not if we're in the ring alone. It won't be. You mean the referee? I mean Bishop. See you at the fights. That was some bill. Feels familiar. It's what you think it is. Oh, oh, excuse me. Mary, I guess you'll have to go along. Boys taking four blue ribbons. 
sevens and three cups. This little lady won first prize at the horse show last year. What do you think of my stable? I like your horses. <laughs> uh, sometimes the boys get overzealous. Phone call would have done just as well. I might have gotten the wrong number. Besides, I figured talking here would be more conducive to results. Blackie, I, uh, I admire a man who doesn't fight easily. Sit down. I'll put that in my girl graduate book. Now, put this down, too. A brave man can be very foolish. Blackie, I resent your interference. Now, we can be reasonable men, businessmen. Sid is a, he's valuable property. After all that hard work, I don't want some wild swinging hayseed knocking him out of the picture with a sudden right. Granted, he's got all it takes. Nevertheless, as befits good merchandise, he's protected, nurtured, brought along. But he isn't a piece of furniture. Ah, oh, don't be naive. Sid wears good clothes, eats good food, has money in the bank. A lot of kids his age have far less. Only he doesn't own himself. Blackie, you're very stubborn. All right. How much will you take? Now, you're being naive. I said I didn't want to be drastic. Now, you've surmised the Spoiler Garrett situation. It's a very important fight. All parties concerned need peace of mind. Well, what do you think? I think your girlfriend might be badly scarred if acid were thrown in her face. Blackie, you're a hard man to deal with. 38 sluggardy hard. Hello, Paul, Mr. Bishop. All right, I'll get it inside. Bring him in, Mike. All right. Yeah? Who? Inspector Faraday. Where is he? Send him in. Faraday's out there. Take him out. I'll make up your mind. Well, Inspector, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Boston Blackie. I don't believe I know the gentleman. He was picked up by two men in a sedan this afternoon. The young lady who was with him reported the license number, and it's registered in your name. Hmm. Now, you weren't over at your office, so I thought I'd come over here. Uh, I'm sorry I can't help you, Inspector. Have a cigar? Thanks. Good afternoon. Tough luck, Blackie. The boss just conned your cop friend out of there. Well, your girlfriend is very much on her pretty little toes. I hope Faraday made an equal impression. Mr. Bishop, you forgot to give me a light. Hello, Blackie. Want to swear out a warrant? Ah, uh -huh. let's get out of here. You lied to me, Counselor, and I won't forget it. No word from Jenny? Mac has been calling her every 15 minutes. Now relax, kid. This is a big night for you. I ain't saying nothing until I see Andy Bishop. You'll see him. What's this all about, Blake? Kappa, you know anything about the fights being fixed? What? That's crazy talk. My boy is clean. Spoiler isn't. Hey, wait a minute. You guys realize the fight's tonight, right now? You're breaking the rules coming in here like this. Bishop's breaking bigger rules. Spoiler, this is your last chance to clear yourself. Bishop's in hot water, dirty hot water. Cobb's going to break the story and the commission's going to clean house. You can say that again. You're going to dive tonight, aren't you? What are you talking about? I can flatten this punk. Hey, wait a minute. Five years ago, you didn't belong in the same ring with me. I could take you five years ago and I'll take you tonight. Well, it's eight to five. You'll be out quarter to ten. Listen, punk, you've been fighting nothing but set up just a volume more, kid. What? Let him finish. Bishop has greased you all the way, but this is as far as you go. You're fast, you're flashy. But right now, you couldn't mix it with a cigar store Indian. Crowd paid six sixty, and these two jokers are beating up on each other down here for nothing. Break it up! Come on, break it up! 
I'm gonna knock you stiff. Uh, whose crazy stunt is this? You buying and selling me. Well, what? Come on, come on, get yeah. Very serious charge, Mr. Bishop. You can count on a commission to impound the nice purses after they read my story. Preposterous. I'll sue your paper for slander and character assassination. You can do better than that, Bishop. Just let these two boys fight to a finish in the ring. May the best man win. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at ringside. Both boys are setting a fast pace in the bell, throwing everything they've got. This isn't a boxing match. No, this is a drudge fight. Listen to that crowd. Do they love it? Do they ever? Both men are in superb condition, but human flesh can take just so much. There are only seconds to go in the seventh round. But that body attack of Spoiler Garrett is beginning to tell on Capper. Cover up, cover up. Use your left, sir. Use your left. You've got to give Tapper credit. He's been fighting on queer street for the past two rounds. Just unadulterated courage. Tapper's hurt. This could be it. The wind-up of a magnificent display of courage. Spoiler is setting him up for the kill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, he's out! That's the idea, Blackie. Keep him up. I thought I'd find you gentlemen here. But of course, we came back to congratulate our boy on his victory. This I want to see. You shall. Stand over there, please. Keep your hands above that pointed head of yours. Should be along any minute now. Takes a little time for his friends to congratulate him. Shut that door and lock it. Good fight, Spoiler. Get dressed. We'll go out on the town. Hi, Spoiler. Better not keep the boss waiting. Isn't every day he picks up the check for a double cross? Shut up, you. What could I do? I couldn't take a dive in a seven like you said. That reporter knew all about it. And this guy here, everybody heard him say I was to do a tank job for Kappa. Shut up and get dressed. Don't dress too fancy, Spoiler. Any old shroud will do. This is where you make your stand. You walk out of here with Bishop and those two gunsels and you walk to your grave. Shut up, you talk too much. I wouldn't forget you, Counselor. Who's your friend, Blackie? Mike Cavill, and he's all yours. As a matter of fact, you hit the jackpot. He's Exhibit A, and I think Spoiler will be the DA star witness. And you can count on me, Inspector. There was a great boxing lesson you gave me tonight, Spoiler. You're not bad yourself. You got plenty of heart. Thanks. But now it all belongs to Jenny. Well, there he goes, and I thought I had a champ. Or Gabby. I got a good prospect for you. A heavyweight? Bannon. Who? Inspector. <laughs> 